It's been two and a half years since 5G phones were first introduced. But users complain the fare is very expensive, while the speed and quality is the same. But government assessment reports show 5G quality has actually been improving by the year. KBS ran some tests and found that actual 5G speed was 70% of the government survey. Only half the level went indoors. The speed of 5G networks is said to be up to 20 times faster than LTE, reaching some 20,000 megabit per second. Is this true for customers? Measurements have been taken in a test. Here in an apartment hallway, the phone signal has been bouncing between LTE and 5G, and the final speed measured is 227 Mbps. The reading briefly went up to 1,400 Mbps at one time outside, but upon entering a building, the speed plummets to the 300 range. This is far from the proclaimed speed of 20-fold of LTE. It's closer to barely two times faster. These papers contain government-announced 5G quality assessment. The average download speed in 35 Seoul area stands at 972 Mbps. KBS and a civic group joined forces to verify the claim. 세계적으로 뛰어난 편이다라는 홍보를 계속 하고 있어요. 그러다 보니까 소비자들 입장에서는 당연히 그걸 믿고 5G 서비스 가입할 수밖에 없는 상황이고. In the test, 10 locations were chosen from the government surveyed areas in consideration of even spread, and measurements were taken indoors, outdoors, on the ground level as well as underground. First, in a survey covering five areas, the average download speed clocked in at 711 Mbps, about 72% of the government report. This further drops to the 50% range when inside public offices. Public facilities are no different. 5G speed measured underground or in restrooms don't even reach half the level mentioned in government findings. Then how do we explain the discrepancy? The government evaluation takes place only outdoors where signal jamming is less frequent and 5G base stations are installed. 편향성이 있는 조사라고 할수 있죠. 5G 서비스가 균질되지 않다면 그에 맞게끔 5G 요금제를 좀 인하할 필요가 있습니다. Around 17 million South Koreans use 5G. Unlike the generous state-level review assuring 5G speed and quality were fast improving, nearly 2,000 consumer complaints were filed last year alone, an increase of 16 percent.